Okay, question 16 here. Um, we've got Barry and he's buying 20 books for £2 each. Um, and he sells a half of them for three fifty. He sells a quarter of them for three pounds. Sells the rest for four, for two pounds. Work out the total profit. So first of all, let's work out if you spent. So if we uh, double twenty pounds, so that's forty pounds that he's spent. Now um, a half of the books. So halving uh, what he's done there. Sorry, that's the pound sign should be there, not there. Let's get that rid of that bit. Um, half the books then, so it's 20 divided by 2 to get half, so that's 10 books, and he sold each of them for £3.50. So in effect, it's 10 times uh, 3 50 so it, the numbers move up one each, so that'll give you £35. Then got a quarter, so that's 20 divided by 4, only times them by £3. So then we've got um, a quarter of that, which is 5, 5 times 3, which is 15. And then uh, he sells the rest of the books. So the rest of the books left over, if that's 10 and 5, we're left with 5 books. And he sells the rest of them for £2 each. So we're again making another £10. Add these up. Carry your 1, gives you 10 there. 3, 1, 1 and 1 is 6. So that's then our sixty pounds. So if we spent forty, so if we do sixty, take away forty, and that's a twenty pound profit. Now on to question seventeen. Want a bit of work here on um, work out the size of angle marked X. Give reasons for your answer. Um, so first step then. We're looking here, um, angles on a straight line. So, um, because they equal 180 degrees, so I, I'd like to write down each time what we've done. So, angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees. So, we want to work out this angle in here. So, if I do 180 degrees, take away one, sorry. One two six. This takeaway this won't go, so we uh, cross that eight off and put a seven. So ten takeaway six is four. Seven takeaway two is five, and then one takeaway one, and then zero. So we've got fifty four degrees. So we've got fifty four degrees in there. Now what we also then know is isosceles triangle is two equal angles. So if we know that's 54, we also know this side's 54, and I put them in the diagram so it's clear. And then angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. So we then do um, 54 out of 54. I'm just going to add those two angles together. Do that in your head, can't you? That's 100 and then 8. And then we're going to do 180, take away our 108. Again, borrow 1 from the 8. So it's 10 take 8, which is 2. 7 take 8, which is 7. 1 take 1, which is nothing. So then we're left with x equaling 72 degrees. That's the solution we're after there. On to question 18. Now we're told the area of the triangle and the area of the square are the same work out the perimeter of the square. So the first step is the area of the triangle. Well, that's base times height, so it's 8 times 9, and then we half it. So 8 times 9 gives us 72, and half that then gives us 36, and that's centimetres squared, so 36 in there. So we now know that this has to be 36. So the question mark is, what value because it's a square, what times what will give you then 36? Um, so 6 times 6 will give you 36 centimetres squared. So we then know that this is 6, this is 6, this is 6, and this is 6. So we want the perimeter. So we're going to do 6, add 6, add 6, add 6, because perimeter is the distance around the shape. So that will then give you 24 
centimeters. On to 19. Now, um, this is a well-known one from a teacher, uh, and I've nicked this off, off her, and she'll know who I'm talking about. Um, when we're taking or we're uh, adding fractions, uh, sorry, I've, I've given it credit to the wrong teacher. It was a he, the teacher. Um, she then nicked it from him, and then I thought it was her. So it's actually um, a male teacher. It's Mr. Julian. Uh, I'll, I'll name him there. So he's happy. Um, it's a kiss and a smile. So if we're taking or times in, sorry, taking or adding, we put the kiss in there. So there's the kiss, and there's the smile underneath. So what have we then got? We've got 5 times 9. And then we're taking away on this question, so take 10 times 1. And then we're dividing all of that by 10 times 5. 5 times 9 is 45. Take away 1 lot of 10. All over 50. That will then leave you with 35 over 50. Um, and we're then looking, I'm just checking the mark scheme now just to make sure. Yeah, it's likely you probably get one mark to that point, and then they are expecting you then divide it by 5 to get 7 over 10. And question 20, I've got Mr. Williams, he's going on a school trip, it's three mark of this. Um, he's going on a school trip, there will be 100 and 34 year 8, 125 year 9, and 30 adults. Must hire enough coaches so that everyone has a seat. All coaches can have 54 people in them. What's the smallest number of coaches? So, first step here is to get the number of people that we've got to um, work it out for. So it's 134, it's 125, and then it's 30. So we're going to add them up. 4, 5 and 0 gives you 9, 3, 2 and 3 gives you 8, and 1 and 1 is 2. So we've got 289, now you've got 54 people, so what I would do then is go up in 54s. So that's 108, and add another 54, so that's 54 to it, uh, 162. And another 54 then is a bit tricky, so for me I'd then put 162 and 54 underneath. Add it on, so that's a 6 there, 11, 2, 2, 1, 6, still not enough, that's 4 coaches, and 2, 1, 6, add 54, 10, 1, 5 and 1 is 7, and 2, it's 2, 70, that's 5 coaches, still not enough, 2, 70, then add 54, 0 and 4 is 4, 7 and 5 is 12, 2 and 1 is 3, and then we've got enough, haven't we? So how many coaches do we then need for question 20? We're going to need six coaches.